The market for external SSDs is oversaturated and many of these products are expensive to say the least. In this review, we have the latest Sovereign offering, the Rocket Nano V2 2TB, a small and lightweight portable M.2 SSD that has a native USB 3.2 port and an all-aluminum casing, and a price to match it all. The Sabren Rocket Nano V2 is an external N2 SSD storage solution that is available in three storage sizes, 1TB, 2TB and 4TB. The unit featured in this review is the 2TB model, and this one has a price tag of $200, US at least on the Sabren website. The main advantage of this portable SSD is the size, or lack of it. This thing is almost as small as a regular SD card and a regular 50mm vintage lens will absolutely dwarf it. The Rocket Nano V2 uses an aluminum made casing and has a weight of just 49 grams with a lovely rubber made cover. This cover is not only to protect the painted surface of the aluminum casing, it's to give you something to hold the SSD from. With this cover removed, this SSD is so slippery that you might as well hold an ice cube in your hand. In terms of ports, this SSD has only one USB Type-C port for both the input and output functions, but that's usually the case these days. In terms of the design, this SSD is looking great, with a light color grey on every surface apart from the front which features the usual Sabrent abstract design that has a glossy black finish. This small pinhole is in fact an activity LED that blinks when the SSD is being used. The advertised speed for the Rocket Nano V2 is 1500 megabytes per second and that is above many portable SSDs we can buy right now, but we shall see how that performance stacks up in a minute or so. The packaging is good with a metal casing that acts as the box of the SSD. Inside the SSD is well protected by its soft foam on the sides. The included accessories are useful and that's about it. There's no blink here. You get two cables, one USB Type-C and one USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable. You also get a user manual and that's about it for the accessories. To test the SSD, it's pretty simple. I've connected it to a USB Type-C on my motherboard and it's ready to go. The SSD is already formatted and ready to be used, so it's truly a plug and play solution. The first test is Crystal Dismark, not at version 8. This software is popular for storage devices as it's free, it received constant updates and it's easy to understand. And in this test, the Rocket Nano V2 obliterates all SATA-based internal SSDs and all external SSDs as well, with an average speed of 1.6GB per second for the reads and 1.57GB per second for the writes. A fantastic result for what is a portable SSD. The next test is Atto Disk Benchmark, another popular benchmark that is used for storage device testing. The main difference with this one is that it uses a lot more file sizes to test the SSD. And in this test, the Sabren Rocket Nano V2 2TB is again ahead of most SATA SSDs apart from the crucial MX500 which has a higher speed while using small file sizes. And it's the same case for the writing speeds, although here the Rocket Nano 2 gets ahead of everything that isn't an internal M.2 SSD. When we talk about real world speeds, it's pretty good again for an external SSD. With a total file size of 96GB, the average speed of this SSD is 245MB per second. As soon as the cache is filled, the speed drops and stays there until the end of the transfer. It's not a bad thing, at least it's a constant speed, but you need to understand that the cache has its limits. If you are going for under 20GB, then the speed will hover at around 800MB per second. When we put this speed into a graph, we see that the Rocket Nano V2 is performing well, especially when compared to internal SATA SSDs. The Sabrent Rocket Nano V2 2TB is a great portable SSD. It offers the advertised speeds and then some, and the aluminum made casing makes it a great outdoor storage device. The main advantage of the Rocket Nano V2 is a native USB Type-C port. It does not use an adapter but a custom made PCB. Unfortunately, I was unable to take it apart to showcase the internal construction, but based on its performance, everything checks out. From a Fison made controller to the Kioxa memory chips. The Rocket Nano V2 is well made and the performance is great. The only drawback you might have is the price. At 200 US dollars, this SSD is not cheap, but it does offer the advertised performance and quality that makes it worth the asked price. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more. And if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and also Star pages of this channel.